hi everybody. Um, I'm supposed to be at the Kennedy Space Center uh, today. Um, it was supposed to be a, a, a weekend off I've got as part of a business trip, but I've got COVID, so I'm stuck in the hotel. So I'm going to do this tour using uh, Wanda, Wanda, sorry, uh, which is a an app that gives you access to the Google Street View images in your Oculus headset. So, excuse my, my voice and occasional coughing. So first of all, we're on this um, NASA Parkway West. I'm assuming that's where the way I would have driven out to this Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center complex. Um, yeah, so it's just a big road kind of on the water the whole thing's on, on a swamp by the looks of it so let's just go along the road a little bit I'll, I'll skip ahead like this so as far as I can tell there's three or four bits to this whole Kennedy experience so there's this space complex here which you can visit and I'm assuming this is where I would have went and there's a bunch of different buildings there's a Obviously, it looks like a, a bit of a shuttle on the outside. It says here, if I zoom out, Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Uh, in the tour, by the way, I'm going to go into some of these things, which I, I assume are part of this thing, which I paid $60 for, and I can't go. <laughs> so where's the entrance? Uh, well, it's hard to tell. Um, well, let's just get stuck in. Space Shuttle Atlantis. Okay. So, a pretty low quality 360 image. But I'm in here in a big black hole. And I've got a satellite there. Is that a Hubble Space Telescope? Something like that. I've got the Atlantis on its side with the Canadian arm, the Canada arm. And I can walk around a bit here. So let's see where this takes me. <laughs> a security woman doing a nice pose. One of the staff. Uh, and no other hot spots, but yeah. I What I assume is a huge space shuttle. So I've clicked on one of the, the other hot spots. We've got some other satellites and that kind of thing in here. Something about Ron Garan, STS-124. So it's a shuttle, as far as I remember. Uh, oh, yeah, in a space station running on the wall, living in the void. Can't experience all of these things, unfortunately. But in VR, I, at least I, I can see what's, of, what's part of the ex exhibition. Something about ISS. Ah, and we're on the underside of the Atlantis here, so we're underneath. There's a shuttle launch experience. Um, yeah, a bunch of stuff. I would have found this interesting. Is that the undercarriage? No. Charts showing you the size of things. Remembering the, I assume, the, the astronauts which died as part of the space program. Have a look. A split cockpit which i would have found interesting but look at the queue <laughs> no queues for me today we're at the back where all these cool retro thrusters and maneuvering thrusters were but i assume what that's what these little black dots are over there all right so that's atlantis uh maybe just do one more in this area uh, up close with some guys doing a tour. So these shots are, are pretty bad. That, swear to God, looks like my dad over there. Oh, yeah. I'm in the hands of somebody's camera. These are all, these are not official Google shots when they're blue dots like that in my map. Oh, there's a lot more. Uh, they're, they're photographs which have been taken by the public using the, the Street View app, as you can see here. Everybody doing selfies. And and 360 cameras were pretty bad until recently. 
as you can see, very grainy, no good low quality light. When I get to the other buildings, you'll see the Google photography, which is much better. Uh, so underneath solid rocket thrusters in the main tank. Uh, I, re I remember seeing something interesting about this not being orange on the first one or two. Uh, this is Dave, the photographer's 360 pic pictures. It's still not great quality. So I just assume these are from a long time ago. You'll see when I get to the other buildings that the image is far better quality when it's uh, done with the the Google's kind of five grand camera. All right, so underneath, not a great view. Damn it, I just realized that was a nice opportunity for me to go with my good 360 camera, or at least a modern one, and take pictures. It looks like it squashed the top of that. Or maybe it's just a training like a mock-up it looks like very much like a mock-up doesn't look like the real thing but i think the camera here has clipped a bunch of that so there's that outside exhibition i'm assuming this is just a cafe let's have a look oh no we're inside ah okay here's that split cockpit again bad quality image okay so mock-ups of cockpits are never as interesting as the real one it's just got a bad geotag. There's a cafe, which I probably would have got an overpriced beverage at anyway. So where are we here? The Hall of Remembrance. Wow, cool. Is that T5, F5? Can't remember, Tiger or something like that. Definitely the MiG from Top Gun, that little plane there. It was a training plane, that's all I know. Uh, yeah, I can only assume this is... Uh, Remembrance wall. You're very sad to kind of go that way, doing something for your country. All right, the, the rocket garden. So I assume this is where all these. Ah, yeah, so there's a Saturn V you can see from the above. Cool. This bit I would have enjoyed, but maybe not in the blazing heat without sunglasses. What I found is the, the heat is pretty extreme here that and, and if you go out in the sun without sunglasses you kind of melt get eye strain so these are all these little rockets von braun the german nazi that came across and ironically helped america to build its space program it's a shame the 360s kind of cut these all up they're all a bit chopped up and that's not a saturn five but it's, i don't think it is it's just well, it's a big mock-up of something let's get closer So a big engine. Let's have rockets. I don't know what this one is pretty big and it's got the kind of Apollo type capsule capsule on the, on the top. It doesn't look like a Saturn because it's got these tubes. Must have been a prototype. Right, so we can go to the front. Oh, wow, where am I? All right, some ah, you could get to sit inside the Apollo capsule. That would have been good, not in COVID, which was that top part there. So this is some kind of obviously prototype they were building up to doing their their big stuff, and you can go in the gantry. Okay, to be honest, not that impressed by this part. Rocket Garden, Hall of Fame. Nah. Training experience. Okay, another big hall. <laughs> Same one, bad geolocation. Let's try again. Um, bus tours. Oh, Mars Rover. Maybe that's some kind of VR thing. I bet that's some kind of VR thing. ATX. Live and work on Mars for the day, for the whole day. Um, if this is what the $60 got you, I would not have been impressed. But what I assume is, and what I've heard is, they do put you in a bus. And then they take you over to... I think it's over this way. The real space center. Now, because it's 
Google, Google's American. They've got pretty good street view down here. Let's just have a look like what it's what it looks like when you're approaching this on the road. Okay, helicopter carrying something. There we go. Ah, yeah. So the big old Kerbal Space Program assembly building. So Okay, what's that? It looks very big. Is that where there was a static? This bit looks too big. It's way too big. What was that? If anybody knows, I'd like to know if anybody's been mentioned in the comments. Um Right, crazy amount of parking space. So I assume that they would have taken you to launch control, which I am assuming yes. So you get to go inside here as part of the tool, the, the tour, pretty cool. Immediately want to see what's up in the back here. Oh, can I get in that last little bit? Doesn't look like it. Looks like that's where the important guys sat in there. Okay, these are mod relatively modern screens. Not too sure, maybe you, you only get to go in those bits as tourists in the bubble and nobody's actually allowed in here unless you're in VR. So I can walk around here because this is this looks like all yeah, it's all the old stuff. Is it Saturn? Is it Space Shuttle? Any space on Sun? Sun mouse pad. That's something I've used in my life. Yeah, these look like, I mean, that's kind of PC or some workstation. Okay, there's a PC. I don't know what's going on there, but it's, it's old stuff. Look at the size of these monitors. Pretty cool. The floor is a, a real mess. You can only assume they sort of started to decommission it and then said, well, Wow, look at that stuff. Brown Baker light switches. You can only assume they started to decommission it and then said, well, let's just keep it as part of the museum. Weird chair there. That's interesting. If anybody knows anything about these chairs, let me know. Um, wow, they just left it like a mess. Look at all these shields here. These plaques. Yeah, mess. Cables. It's good to know that anybody who's involved in technology, including NASA, just have a bunch of cables everywhere. So that was what was that? Launch control. I'm assuming not the one used anymore. Then there's this vehicle assembly building. Yeah. So I have seen this before. So these are Google images, uh, and you can see much better quality. So I could almost read those serial numbers for each one of these tiles. Isn't that insane that they had to inspect them all? I guess they had a software, well, something like Excel, where each single tile mapped out, first of all, and then somebody would have had to have done asset management on, on each tile. So I, I kind of get an impression of size from these 360 images just because I know what you know like a pushback bar like that the size of it would be and aircraft wheels and when I was looking at this last time I was in here I was thinking isn't that insane that this whole space shuttle all the cost and complexity that it had and it had to land on what's that six tires and if those tires blew up or the gear failed you know, the whole thing could get wrecked Maybe not. Uh, but I bet they put a bit of R&D into those tires to make sure they were safe. Um, don't know what that stuff is. Some kind of jigs and rigs. Pretty interesting to see how thick that trailing edge is. I assume because you had to put a tile on it. Although that looks like a tile that goes around the corner. But you know you don't want your trailing edge to be too thick on a, on a wing. And the size of these sort of flapper, flapper lons, as they were called. And that big kind of flappy bit there at the back. 
looks like it can move to give it a bit of bit more sort of authority pitch pitch authority and i never knew that the the base side of that tail plane had um the ceramic tiles on it and then all the way up the edges of the rudder that's interesting and i guess the front there Weird. I guess they did the simulation to find out which bits would heat up. But just insane. Uh, there's another one there. What's what's up to this one? This is Endeavour. And it's weird. What's that coating on the top side? It's really rough. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, yes, well, this one is pretty much the same over there. Uh, I don't know what these little windows are. To have taken some panels off and just put plastic over them. Is that a door there to, to dock? Is that some kind of docking door? As far as I remember, it was like that. You could get out of, in and out of that one with the airlock. So you get to see the shuttles. Um, that was the vehicle assembly building. What's this here? launch pad with big pipes and stuff yeah this is ah this is where they put it all the whole thing together god look at that structure there all these ramps that go down i'm assuming so you could inspect each each section of it i assume is that and that must have gone around the solid rocket boosters and that bigger diameter there for the main tank so i guess that slides in yeah can i go over there Sorry about my fitness overlay. It just shows you how lazy I've been. Um, I guess these slide in around the tanks from either side and the boosters so that people could inspect. That's pretty impressive. Got that structure. This is cool. I like this. Uh, where am I? Can I go other side? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly what I wanted. Loads of lights. I can only assume it's just to inspect the whole thing. That's insane. So they'd assemble it. Bazillions of checks. I can only imagine. And then... Oh, I assume they... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, hang on. Tracks. Oh, yeah. So they'd roll one or two. <laughs> I guess that's the two vehicles they could do at the same time. They'd roll them along this massive caterpillar track thing. The Saturn Causeway. The Saturn, and the Saturn used to roll out here. Why? Well, I was going to say, why is it so far away? I guess because you don't want it to burn from the launch or where any rockets fall down. So I had to go all the way along there. Safe distance. Cool. SpaceX assembly. Is that to my right? Nothing here in this photograph. Ah, but you have, uh, yeah, so that big ramp that it rolled up. Okay. Uh, oops, where's my screen? Bent over. So the big ramp you rolled up. I wonder if you're allowed on this launch pad in the, in the Kennedy Space for my $60. Oh, that's a cool view. I remember some of this from from photographs that you saw when they launch. So I think these big pipes with a kind of cap on them were for spraying out water. This is another one. But why not in can't understand. Alright. So maybe the shuttle attached onto the over was hung over this part. Looks like a lot of pipes there to put your rocket your jet blast onto. You can only assume it was hung off this thing somehow. Oh no, maybe the oh yeah, the whole thing drove up here on top of this thing. Must have been on top of this thing. Hmm. Anyway, I, I, that looks very familiar from 
what I've seen in these shots where you see, you know, the flames come out. This is very good footage on YouTube of um, the high speed cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. So that black and white square there was kind of a target that they used for the cameras to kind of calibrate what the camera was looking at. That's got a specific size, I guess, so that you could scale the flames and other stuff like that off. But it doesn't look right, but I guess the flames. I guess the flames are just like all over the place. So I assume, yeah, shuttle hung on top of this. And then I don't know if it was the main vehicles, rockets that were blasting down on this or whatever. Anyway, pretty cool. I guess all this stuff, it's just inspection hatches. Is that a camera there? This is a camera. Where is it? Can't get in front of it. Uh, bet you that was the looks like angled. Bet you that was the high speed camera in its protective housing, so it didn't burn. Well, where's my my map view? <laughs> Very interesting to know if I would have been had access to that stuff uh, on the launch thing. Ah, cool. Shuttle landing. So I bet you you're not allowed on this runway as part of the tour. So they landed them in Kennedy as well? I didn't know that. Maybe it was just for tests. Basically a ginormous runway. Ah, cool. Launch viewing. Oh, got an actual launch here. Ah, cool. I've, this is what VR's... Oh, well, thank you for taking this picture. Good for... Ah, I wish I could move that. Okay. So, some kind of launch. I'm assuming it's SpaceX. Everybody craning their neck. Cool. Not as many people as I would have expected. It's not... I was going to say it's not rammers. It is rammers. Launch viewing... So you're looking across to there. Wow, that must be a huge distance. Look how small that is. And then what's this here? Saturn V Center. Here we go. So it's inside. So look what this building had. Cool. A moon, a fake moon. Lots of signal. Oh, that's cool. It's like an auditorium. It'd be cool if people did like a, a stage show. I bet they don't, but well, how does that work? It must be. And maybe they just show a movie. Spacesuits. Oh, it's got that spooky. I always think it's so spooky when you see suits of armor, like ninja suits behind a screen like that. <coughs> Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Didn't cough in the mic. Can I read that stuff? EVA spacesuit. Obviously, it wasn't used because it looks like a sci fi robot. It's awesome. Can I get closer? No. Uh, Air Research Advanced Extra Vehicle. These are so cool. I wonder if it was yellow or if it yellowed over time. The Apollo space. Suit. That must have been an early version of it. EVA spacesuit. They're cool. I like the Apollo ones. What's this stuff? Gloves. Inner gloves, I guess. Helmet. That's cool. Massive gloves. They're cool. A model of the capsule. That random shit. Oh, yeah. I do like a good burnt, you know, used capsule. That's awesome. Yeah. I want to get inside that kind of stuff. I know you, they'd never let you because there's millions of people doing it. But I want to get inside. Can't get, can't get inside. <laughs> All right. Aha. I can see lots of pipes. All right. So this is the Saturn V hall. Uh, let's go to the business end. No, 
so it's just a, a you're looking like up all the time i guess let's go right back to the beginning oh, excuse me <coughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh gigantic just watched a netflix documentary about spacex last night and the guys were standing there just looking how big that a cool name, a gush, a gush nozzle, I think it was. That bit there where I'm pointing, where the, the, I guess the burning mixture would come out and then it expands into that shell. I love that stuff. Big. Can't quite get the sense of scale from a 360 picture because it's not stereoscopic. But, I mean, I can see from the context that it's one, two, you know, three floors high building at least. It was probably American, that's that's like a double story. Gigantic. And what's the deal? You just walk underneath it. Uh, uh, pretty cool to see the, yeah, all that ribs and stuff that I've only ever seen miles away on TV. Okay. Yeah, the big pipe that goes all the way to the top along the side. You don't really see that in the details when you watch on TV. First stage. Second stage. Still one, one, two, three, four, five boosters. And, and what I understand is that these are smaller, so completely different engine design. Super complicated, just as the big ones, but look all that stuff there. And I think SpaceX are kind of just, what they would have done is just had two of the big ones instead of five new, completely new designed, which is insane if you think about it. I guess they were getting paid by the hour, by the government. Cool shit. Stage two. Massive. Massive. Stage three. You'd hope that it's not another engine design. It's just one. Another one's another. I always wanted to know what are in these balls here. Some kind of chambers for equalizing pressure and that kind of stuff. I can only assume. Look at that docking ring. I wonder if the yellow, if that yellow there is just to hold I don't know if that's part of the real mechanism they had. It looks kind of heavy, eh? Big tank of fuel. Rockets are not. It's just a fuel tank, eh? Is that the actual thing? No. Doesn't look like it. Look at different. It must have been a prototype. Yeah, rubber tires on it. Cafe. Very. Uncool cafe, by the way, if you're listening, Kennedy. Third stage. First thing, second, absolutely huge. Third, a bit smaller. And then that's just a spacer. It's over there. That bit is just a spacer. Nothing in it. Cowling. And then you've got the capsule. With the eagle lander in that inside that cover and then your your apollo so cool yeah look at those little maneuvering thrusters <laughs> kind of manually controlled it's insane and then this bit i just couldn't believe they did that uh, hopefully you can't see my i can actually see what's in my room just now so let me just turn away a bit yeah, so ah, so the eagle lander was in that cowling or that cowling. But no, no, that is part of the Apollo capsule. So t fly out, turn around, to pick up eagle. That's insane that they got that to work. Right, uh, getting pretty hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. That's my tour. Well, let's just go outside here in the garden. It's obviously something to see. Fresh air. That's that's the only thing I'm missing right now is a bit of fresh air. Uh, and sun. Look at that. It's gorgeous. 
All right, that's my little tour of Kennedy Space Center, which I'll share probably. Um, because I'm supposed to be there today, but I can't go because I've got COVID. Uh, and I am somewhere over here. Uh, Orlando's just just hotels basically. I can't remember where I am. No idea. Some hotel somewhere there. Uh. Paradise Heights. There's a lake somewhere kind of in the distance. There are a lot of lakes. Anyway, that's all from me from Orlando, Florida. Catch you later.